2023 hit us hard, with a year filled with heartbreaking news, especially for the soap industry, which has witnessed the loss of many talented stars. Today, let's take a moment to remember and pay tribute to these beautiful souls of bold and the beautiful, as well as young and the restless, who brought so much talent and joy to our screens. Their legacy lives on in the hearts of fans, and though they may be gone, their performances and impact will never be forgotten. So here's to the stars we'll always miss. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Canadian actress Sharon Acker, best known for her roles in Texas, Days of Our Lives, and The Young and the Restless, passed away at the age of 87 in a retirement home in Toronto. She made her mark in the 80s on Texas as Judith Wheeler and Days of Our Lives as Pamela Fauci, later gracing The Young and the Restless as Dr. Grace Sundel from 1991 to 1992. Acker was also recognized for her work as Lee Marvin's unfaithful wife in the 1967 neo-noir classic, Point Blank. And if you are a fan of Star Trek, then you might know Acker for her 1969 turn as Odona, a desperate woman from an overpopulated planet, on the third season episode The Mark of Gideon. We lost another vet of young and restless, actor Brett Hadley who played Genoa City Police Detective Carl Williams, the head of the Williams family, for over a decade. Hadley became part of the daytime soap as Doug Davidson's on-screen father in 1980 and stuck around until 1990, when his character mysteriously vanished from the show. Sadly this year, Hadley died on June 14, at the age of 92, in Woodland Hills, California. In an interview with Soap Opera Digest, Laura Lee Bell said that Brett was the sweetest guy, biggest smile, and the believability of he and Doug Davidson being father and son was like no other. His other friend, Marion Halpin, who has been friends with him since she was 18 years old, wrote on her Facebook, I will miss his playful and deep conversation, his funny flirty giggle and twinkling eyes. He took his last bow and gracefully left us yesterday. Thank you to my dear sweet soul sister Darcy Lee Kaplan for midwifing him out. Andrea Evans, born and raised in Illinois, got her big Hollywood break in 1978 with her horror movie, The Fury. But soap fans totally loved her when she rocked as the fierce Tina Lord on One Life to Live. After a while, she took a detour to the young and the restless in 1983 as Paul Williams' sister, Patty, but that was short-lived. By 1985, she was back on One Life to Live till 1988. After that, she took a decade-long break and made an epic comeback in 1999 on The Bold and the Beautiful as the scandalous Tawdry Tawny, rocking it till 2005. She made a brief return in 2010 too, and was always on and off the show in a recurring status. Having lived such a successful life, she later faced breast cancer, putting up a tough fight for years. Sadly, Andrea passed away at the age of 66 in her Pasadena home on July 9, 2023. On his 77th birthday, which happened to be on July 14th, the soap opera veteran and one of the legends of soap opera, Nick Benedict, passed away due to complications from spinal surgery, which left him paralyzed from neck down. His wife Ginger's workplace posted the sad news on their Facebook, writing, Nick Benedict's birthday was July 14th. He went to be with the Lord that day. Please pray for Ginger. He is fondly remembered for his roles on daytime TV, such as playing Phil Brent, Erica Kane's love interest on All My Children, Curtis Reed on Days of Our Lives, and as the photographer Michael Scott on Young and Restless, who found himself in a love triangle with Julia and Victor Newman. The storyline involving Michael and Julia's affair, her pregnancy, and Victor's revenge against Michael became one of the most memorable in the show's history. The young and the restless alum Sharon Farrell, who played the role of Nina Webster's mom, Flo, passed away unexpectedly on May 15 of a natural cause at the age of 82. Farrell's representative, Dominic Tardiv said, it was unexpected as she was doing fine and full of life and being her great funny and caring self. She had a great talent as an actress and a great career and Hollywood life. It was great for us to rep her and know her, I will miss her dearly. Besides her young and restless stint from 1991 to 1996, she was best recognized from her film, It's Alive. The iconic game show host for The Price is Right, and a bold and beautiful alum, Bob Barker, has sadly passed away. Bob appeared as himself in Bold and Beautiful in 2014, and had recreated some iconic scenes, like punching Wyatt Spencer, played by Darren Brooks. Bob Barker was a legend and everyone loved him. Born as Robert William Barker on December 12, 1923, in Darrington, Washington, he has won 19 daytime Emmys, 14 for hosting and 4 for producing Price is Right. He also was awarded the Daytime Emmy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1995. He was 99 years old when he died from a natural cause in his home in Los Angeles on August 27 this year. Scott Clifton wrote a heartfelt message for Bob on his Instagram as, Definition of a life well lived, isn't he?
what a privilege it was, not only to work with him, not only to marvel at his wit and vitality even at 90 years old, but to have a once-in-a-lifetime private conversation with the man about his passion for animal ethics. Another shocking death that shook us all was of our beloved young and the restless alum, Billy Miller. Born on September 17, 1979, Billy passed away just two days before turning 44. His manager, Marnie Sparer, officially announced his death on September 15 in Austin, Texas, revealing that the actor had been grappling with bipolar disorder and manic depression too. Billy's soap journey kicked off in 2007 with a role in All My Children as Richie Novak. After a year there, he joined The Young and the Restless as Billy Abbott in 2008, earning three Daytime Emmy Awards and numerous nominations. Following his departure from Young and Restless, he joined General Hospital as Jason Morgan in 2014, remaining there until 2019. After his untimely passing, Elizabeth Hendrickson among many others, also took to Instagram to share her memories with him, sharing an emotional message. Today I should have been sending you a happy birthday text BJ, the actress wrote, recalling her fond memories with him. She ended her post with, I hope you know that we are all here now texting each other, sending pictures, and sharing memories of how awesome you were. This hole in my heart will never be filled. Good night sweet Billy. Another loss of 2023 is our very own soap vet, Tyler Christopher. There is no one who didn't know him. You will definitely recognize him as either Nicholas Cassidine from General Hospital or Stefan DiMera from Days of Our Lives. The man was so good at his job that he scored four Daytime Emmy Award nominations and took home the Outstanding Lead Actor Trophy in 2016 for his role in General Hospital. Sadly, he had a lot of struggles and problems in his personal life due to his drinking problem. But while he was recovering and living a healthy life, the heartbreaking news hit us. Tyler was found dead on October 31st in his apartment at the age of 50 due to a cardiac arrest. Maurice Bernard, who played Sonny on General Hospital, wrote, Tyler was a sweet soul and wonderful friend to all of those who knew him. Tyler was an advocate for better mental health and substance use treatment who openly spoke about his struggles with bipolar depression and alcohol. We are beyond devastated by the loss of our dear friend and pray for his children and his father. Lastly, we'd also like to mention another actor who might have not been in Bold and Beautiful or Young and Restless, but was a soap superstar. Ellen Holly died at Calvary Hospital in the Bronx on December 6 at the age of 92. In case you forgot, Ellen was the star of One Life to Live who played Carla Gray. She was the first black superstar slash actor to lead a daytime TV show in 1968. She was later put on a recurring status until she was fired by Paul Rauch in 1985. In 1996, she also released her autobiography, One Life, the autobiography of an African-American actress, describing her life and struggles as a light-skinned black actress in Hollywood. As we move on to another year, best believe we will never forget all the stars who have left us this year. They will always be remembered through their works and legacies. May they all rest in peace, and don't forget to share your love and prayers in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.